Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Singer Dad Reacts. My name is Josh, and I'm here to do another new artist reaction uh, to Postmodern Jukebox. So this is a cool group um, founded, I believe, in 2011 um, by Mr. Scott Bradley. And they do a lot of... Um, songs and covers and they like to kind of you know do like jazz and uh, blues and things like that and kind of take different spins on some of the songs that have been done uh, from what i read and so i'm really interested to see what their take is and also Haley's part in that uh, it was interesting so I, as i've mentioned in some of my other reactions i'm a big fan of american idol and um, the X Factor and um, the the Got Talent um, competitions and stuff, and of course the Voice. And I do remember after I looked at this and kind of did a little research, I remember watching Haley perform in American Idol. I believe it was season ten, I think. Anyway. Um, I do remember her performing, and so I went back and watched her uh, House of the Rising Sun performance that she gave, which was pretty epic, actually. I liked it a lot. Um, she made some really neat choices with the way that she produced that vocal um, and added a lot of like this grit to it and um, some really cool choices with uh, the way that she... Uh, kind of changed the melody up and added a few things in there. So I am interested to see what she does with Creep. One of my favorite uh, versions of the song Creep that I've heard was performed by Brian Justin Crum um, on America's Got Talent and uh, several years ago. And it's just amazing. He did such a great job and brought such a a feeling of emotion and, and power behind his performance. So if you haven't had a chance to see that, definitely go check it out. It's also one of my favorites to go out and see people react to for the first time because um, people are just blown away by by his performance and the power behind what he's singing. So I'm excited for this. Um, and I did some research on Radiohead as well. Obviously, they're the original artist uh, of the song Creep and it was part of their debut album actually in 1993 called Pablo Honey and from what I read it wasn't like a huge bestseller right at first but then it kind of made its way into the different markets interestingly it, it hit big in Israel at first and then kind of um, they had one of their first overseas gigs over there and then it hit in the UK and then I think the US and then it eventually, of course, went really big um, in a lot of those different markets. So, um, but yeah, Radiohead's been around for a long time. They, uh, they've been around since 1985, actually. Um, and I think, you know, they've sold millions and millions of albums. And they have kind of an alternative rock, kind of, some people have called them like grunge or, you know, and they, the, what's interesting also to me was to kind of look at some of those that have, you know, provided inspiration for them. And the list was, you know, wide as far as like a lot of different, you know, artists like the Beatles was an interesting one. Um, some of the, the jazz legends and people like that. So they had a really wide variety of different artists. And that's what really makes a good artist, I think, is when you you don't just like, you know, pattern yourself after a single artist or a single niche genre, but you actually take in lots of different styles and genres and and types of music from different artists and and then you kind of you know create your own style, your own genre, your own um, set of of performances and, and songs that uniquely define you right so with that let's read through the lyrics here as i mentioned in my other reactions recently i am trying to make it easier for you to skip ahead if you're not into this part of my reaction so there are segments 
in the YouTube videos that I post where you can go in and actually scroll ahead to the section that says reaction and click and just watch my reaction. Um, and then there's the last section of the video is the, the closing comments. So uh, those are the different sections I have there. Okay, so now I'm going to read the lyrics like I do at the beginning of my my reactions. So this is, of course, Creep by Radiohead. Uh, first verse, when you were here before, couldn't look you in the eye. You're just like an angel. Your skin makes me cry. You float like a feather in a beautiful world. I wish I was special. You're so very special. But I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. I don't care if it hurts. I want to have control. I want a perfect body. I want a perfect soul. And I want you to notice when I'm not around, you're so very special. Yeah, I wish I was special, but I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. It repeats the chorus there. She's running. Well, she's running out again. I said she's running out. She's run, run, run. Oh, when I said she's run, I said she's Whatever makes you happy, whatever you want, you're so very special. Yeah, I wish I was special, but I'm a creep. And there's the chorus. So it kind of repeats itself there. When I was doing my research, um, I read a little thing that it, where Tom York talked about, from Radiohead talked about the origin of these original lyrics and how uh, I believe it, there was a, a girl it was about a guy that really liked this girl and she was out of his league. And so that was kind of him kind of saying, Hey, I'm a weirdo. I'm a creep. Uh, I'm not, you know, good enough for this girl that I really like that type of thing. Right. So that's what I read kind of around the origin of, of the wording. But I think if you watch Brian Justin Crumb's performance, I kind of like, what happened there in that because of what he experienced and i won't go into it in detail um and spoil it for any of you that haven't seen it but it kind of speaks to the fact that all of us at one point feel like creeps or weirdos and you know kind of outcasts or or like we don't fit in with certain groups or at different times of our lives and it's kind of good to have a song that kind of brings that through and and brings us on a common ground where we can all kind of come together and say, hey, you know, that's okay. It's okay to have those times where you don't feel like you fit in because, you know, it's just, it's a, a passing thing. And whether you realize it or not, you do fit in. Um, you are cool. Um, and there are friends out there for you. If the people around you are are treating you like dirt and not supporting you and all of that, then, you know, they're not your friends. That's That goes against the very fiber of what a friend is. So um, never feel like you're a weirdo or a creep. Um, if you do, then um, come back to my channel and... Hopefully you can feel along with all of us that the music brings us all together and no one's ever alone uh, or a weirdo or a creep. I think we're all, if weirdo means that we're unique and different, then yeah, we all are. So I guess look at it that way. Also, if you haven't already, if you could please support the channel by clicking on the subscribe and the little notifications bell there so that you could be notified of any of my new reactions. I would appreciate that. Thank you for your support. Postmodern Jukebox cover of Radiohead's Creep with Haley Reinhardt. When you were here before You couldn't look you in the eye You're just like an egg your skin makes me cry You flow like a feather In a beautiful world I wish I was 
I like this a lot. This might become one of my favorite versions. I love like the kind of jazzy feel it has to it, but yet her voice, her voice is not like your typical jazz voice. It has kind of that grit. It kind of reminds me in some ways of Stevie Nicks. I don't know how many of you out there are Stevie Nicks fans, but I love her voice. I think it's just so fun to listen to and it just has this really unique kind of a grit and and uh, character to it, this timbre. And I kind of picked that up from Haley too. She does some really unique things like when she's closing off the vowels, and I, you know, instead of instead of holding the vowel out and then closing off at the very end. Um of some of these words at the ends of the phrases and things like that so it adds it adds a special uniqueness to the sound and a, a you know kind of makes it really interesting so i'm going to rewind it a little bit here i love like the the percussive aspect that kind of comes through and i think it's because of the cello and, and kind of the the rhythm of the the bow and what he's doing there and also of course the the piano which to some is considered kind of, you know, percussive in the way that it with the uh, strikes, the strings and things like that. But that's just kind of something that came through. I wasn't expecting. Let me go back. I'm just going to go back to the beginning here. Sorry, guys. When you were here before. See how she's doing that? Couldn't look you in the eye. I... You're just like an angel. Your skin makes me cry You float like a feather oh, you see, I In a beautiful like world I wish I was special She did something a little different right there You're so Went very up and special like wow this is really a cool version she's doing some really interesting things with with the way that she's applying the air to the tone coming through she almost like it's it's almost like she's saving up her vibrato to the ends of the phrases right so the very ends of the phrases that comes through and you hear that uh, right but it's more kind of a has a little more grit to it or she's closing off on an r right when she's at the ends of the phrases that is cool i'm just gonna go back oh, to time yeah. i don't care if it hurts <laughs> i want Special, yeah, I 
you hear how she did that. Da -o -a -o -a. That was really cool. Yeah, she's... I love also, like... And you'll see other reactors, uh, vocal coaches and, and performer type reactors say this, but it's very true, and that is if you're loose and your body is moving as you're performing... Um, and in her case, she just kind of has this kind of sassy thing going on with, you know, using her arms to kind of express herself and different things and moving her body. So that will help a lot as far as, you know, giving this natural sense to the sound. And it'll help you stay on top of the pitch because you're actually applying energy physically from your body into the sound, right? So there's something to be said for that. Not that you can't just stand there and, and perform and then emote through your your face and and things like that um, that can work as well so it it's varies based on the song and the type of song and and what makes sense for telling the story of the song right so you kind of have to choose that as an artist and as a performer but she she's doing a great job with adding her own spice to the performance and making your own. that for a long time holy cow how long was that let me go back here that was long let's see here's the breath Still going. Wow, that was a long time. That was cool. <laughs> Little jazz cat, that's cool.
It's a very jazzy. <laughs> wow. Jeez. Haley. I got it. I didn't want to stop it and pause it. I was enjoying it too much here to to stop it very much. So I want to go back. <laughs> So little things like that, you see, that you may not notice, like when she says, what am I doing here? And she points to that spot, right? She points to the ground, things like that. You can tell that she is, she's processing the lyric, right? She's thinking about it. She's, she's really internalized what she's singing about and what it means to her and trying to bring that power, you know, to the, to the words and to the vocal. So the other thing is the gravelly, the fry type sound that she's adding to it. It seems like she's able to do that without really like um, making herself hoarse. I've talked about this before with like Marco from like Nightwish and, and singers like that, where they will do the same type of thing where they sing with a lot of that kind of gravel tone, that kind of, you know, grit to the tone. And yet they're able to continue to do that night in and night out without getting super hoarse. So I don't know if that just comes naturally to her stylistically and, and to the timbre of her voice. And it's just her thing. Um, or if she was trained to be able to do that um, and to provide the right support and placement to not cause herself to go hoarse, but uh, I'm not sure what that is. And if any of you know, you can comment down below, but she has really good instincts with, um, and what I'm talking about is how to do the runs, how to have it fit within the context of, you know, that time sequence within the song, um, within that melodic sequence. So, you know, what's being played behind her to as far as the notes and you know fitting it all in there so these are things that you kind of take for granted when you hear a performer kind of go off and do riffs or or you know change up the melody and and go up instead of down or you know change it up you know in certain parts um, it's not easy to do uh, if you're a performer and you've tried to do this with the song and make it your own it's it's definitely an art and requires some work and uh, quite a bit of talent and musicality and all of that so she's she's got it she's definitely got it as far as her instincts and just really making it her own and just bringing out some really cool stuff so sorry i'm going back but i didn't really pause before here See what she did there? She's just weirdo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So who would have thought to do that with weirdo with with this part of the of the melody? But yet she added something completely different to this part of the song. And it adds its own little, you know, swipe of the brush, right? I've talked about the the painter analogy before and the the palette and the, the colors and how a singer is basically picking different brushes, different colors and creating their own piece of art, right? And that's really what she's doing by choosing to do something like this. What the hell am I doing here? Changing her mouth like that. Same type of thing. I don't belong. I don't. So it's the inflections and the emphasis, all of these different things make a song what it is and make this musical painting unique and, and vibrant and full of texture, right? There's 
to that point. Yeah, so she was great. They were great. I love the sound that they create with just these four instruments behind her. I mean, it's just really a cool arrangement. I mean, you just got a sax, a trombone, the trombone, the bass, and the, and the piano. I mean, three of these instruments are so among my favorites, right? The cello... I love the cello, the bass. I like the smaller cello a little better than the bass, but any any from that family I love, violin. And then the sax, one of my favorite of the wind instruments. Um, my son actually played it for a little while, and I used to kind of play around with his uh, alto sax. But, and of course the piano I love. I've, I actually play the piano. We've got our own grand piano that we have here in our house. So... It, this was just a great performance. Many of you have recommended this performance for me to react to, and I want to thank you for that because this was one of my favorite covers. What Haley did with this, it's really an awesome rendition. Um, and I think overall she's got really good vocal technique. Um, is she one of the best female vocalists? In the world no but she has a unique sound and um she does really cool things with like her diphthongs and the, i talked about it before like how she closes off and and adds the the resonance at the end of the phrases and uh, while she's holding a consonant out and things like that so there's different stylistic things she does that really are uh are really cool so great great cover uh, i'm gonna have to do more postmodern jukebox um, please give me your suggestions down in the comments as to what i should react to from this group it sounds like they've collaborated with a lot of different artists like lady gaga i think i saw Katy perry's name in there and a bunch of others so let me know what some of your favorites are that you'd like me to react to, and I'll be happy to add those to the list. Um, so I'll close my video as I do with all my reactions by kind of tying in with what I talked about a little bit before when I was reading the lyrics, and that is, um, none of us are weirdos or creeps. You are special. You can accomplish your dreams, and you are loved, and you each need to know that. Um, it's very important that we all have that feeling in our hearts and um, that faith in a brighter future and a hope for better things because those things can come. And a lot of that, as I've mentioned before, can come through our attitudes and the things that we do and the, the way we choose to spend our time. A large part of that should be helping others and working on productive things having fun with our friends and loved ones and just living life and making good choices and doing the right thing in a, the choices we make throughout our day. And sometimes we may look at little decisions we make throughout a day and think, oh, this, this is not a big decision. This is not a big thing. So I can maybe not make the best decision, but it's better if you can live each day the best you possibly can, as if that day was the day chosen to represent your entire life. Could you say that day represented the best of what I had to offer and what I could do um, in that time period, right? I, I love the movie Groundhog Day because it it's kind of like that, right? That final day before... I won't, in case you haven't seen it, I won't spoil it for you, but um, he learns that. He learns to 
really fill his day with all of these good things and his good choices and helping others and and being humble and, and giving and all that. So keep that in mind as you're living each day. And I hope you can come back to my channel and and be uplifted by the music and learn something new uh, through my take. I'm always trying to improve my reactions and learn what I can about the artists and the history and the songs and all the things involved to make it a richer experience. So thank you all for your support. I really appreciate it and take care.